Hello, good evening, guys. Welcome to another English class. Um, we're going to start right now, and let's see who do we have here. Alberto, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, everybody. Miguel, Robert, um, sure. Alex, Freddy, Roxana. Okay, so welcome back, my friends. Um. I ha I could uh see some of the messages that you were sending to the WhatsApp group. I guess you have some difficulties, right, with the platform. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't uh, read all the messages, but if you want, before we we finish the class, we can uh, take some time to check the answers, uh, the correction of some exercises. Okay. So we're going to do it like um, 9.45, okay? 9.45, uh, we can check that if you have some difficulties. I really uh, appreciate your effort because I was checking the grades today. I was checking the grades and most of you have finished uh, unit one, two, and three. So uh, some of you are, are finishing the, the midterm in some others, uh, you need four, so, so that, that's really good. So, <clears throat> let's start here. Let me check. Okay, Denise, um, let's see. Yes, sir. Yes, hello. I have problems with my task. Okay, if you want, we can take that uh, 9.45. A las 9.45, vamos a ver si tenemos todos los problemas. Solo guarden, and, and you tell me what number of, of homework. Me dice que el número de tarea, porque tenemos que avanzar con, con los contenidos. Y al final de la clase, vemos los problemas si tienes. Okay, Alberto, si tienes problemas, si el guimán tiene dificultades. We're going to check the answers. Vamos a ver todas las respuestas, ok? Yo lo puedo gracias. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I'm going to help you. Okay, um, but we have to advance with the contents that we have. Um, we are class 17, my friends. We're about to, to finish. Just what? Uh, 18, 19, 20, like eight classes. Eight classes and we say goodbye. That's nice because we are maybe in the 60% of the the road. Okay, Vicky, thank you. Yes. Um I'm going to check here uh about let me check. Uh, Miguel, I have some, I have a question. Uh, in your case, you appear, um, your name in the platform is MMM, it's like that. Yes, teacher, I see. Oh. Yes, MMM. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check it for the yes. next group. For the next course, I recommend you to write your complete name, okay? Because I was confused with that. Because I didn't have like a, a clear idea about who was this person. Because all of the participants have their names, okay? So I recommend you in the next module, okay? I'm going to. Okay, thank you. In. No problem, because I, I, I am checking the grades and the advances of everyone. And here we have Morelia. Morelia, hello there. Morelia, I have a question for you, but I know if you're there. Hello, I'm here. Okay, Morelia, are you this per 1698 in the platform? Uh, I think that no, I don't, I didn't revise the platform. So but you have I'm going to do worked. it now. You have not worked in the platform. 
this week I think no. No, but in, in the unit one and two, yes. Yes. One okay, and two, it, yes. But but I was checking and midterm it, two. Mm -hmm. I was checking the platform grades, but I noticed that I couldn't see your name in there. I just see this uh, uh yes. I just I just my uh, name in the platform is Jisper. Yeah, I, I was asking that. Uh huh. Jisper, okay. Okay, I'm going to, to check the grades, yes, okay? Um, for Jisper. the next for the next okay. module, I recommend you to use your name, okay? Because it is better for us I... for teachers. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I I try to change, but I cannot. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, at least now I know that Miguel is MMM and you're Jesper. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, my friends. Uh, tonight we have how to use superlative forms of adjectives. Okay. Um, class number 16. We are about to finish because we have 25 classes in this intermediate. In the basic level, it, uh, it was like <clears throat> 20, 20 classes. But yeah, intermediate, you are in another level now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to check the attendance list. And this is, these are composed nouns. I'm sorry, composed verbs, or uh, they are called phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are the verbs that are combined a preposition and a verb, or two verbs, or one verb and an adjective. In this case, for example, there are different types of uh, phrasal verbs, and you know. For example, sit down. Sit is the verb, and down is the preposition. Get up. Get is the verb, and up is the preposition. Okay, so these are examples. But in this case, we have phrasal verbs or composed verbs, verbo compuestos, and they use get plus adjective this is but this is but very very uh, uh common in english so uh, it it is like the adjective becomes a verb okay fat is gordo gorda okay but get fat is engordar tired is cansado okay o cansada but if we add get tired is cansarse okay so here we have this get fat get Tired, get old, get rich, something that we want. Get ready, get sick, get better, get worse, get lost. And we can use uh, some other ver adjectives in this case. Okay. So it is like uh, depends on what you need, right? So it is very common use get. And if you look for in the dictionary, get has more than 16 meanings. Get is a very complicated verb because it can um, function as a verb, but it can be combined with other adjectives, with other verbs. Uh, for example, uh, get up, for example, get up. Okay, so it is up is the preposition. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to call you one by one and you tell me, please, uh, one of these verbs that maybe uh, called your attention. Mm, one one, one um, advertisement, maybe. No, no, it is like a warning. En, si en caso me llegó a desconectar porque me está fallando bastante el internet, remain, permanezcan, no hagan fiesta. Que nadie tome el control mm -hmm. y haga... Baile, ¿verdad? Si no quiere, relax. Me voy a conectarme Nancy. de nuevo. No voy a hacer que encuentre acá haciendo revoluciones. Ok, so you relax because I am having difficulties with my internet uh, today, all day long. Ok, so let's see in this case. I will call Alex uh, Enoch. I don't know if Alex is there. It is commonly moving, but okay. Anna Raquel, I don't know if you're there, Anna. Hello, teacher. Good evening. 
Hello, okay. I mention one verb. Um, get better. Okay. Vicky is like not available, maybe later. Brandon, I don't know if you are there, Brandon. Hello, you? Hello. present. Thank you. Get, get tired. Thank you very much. Denise is, I don't know, is like working, full of work. So let's see. Uh, Freddy's. Hi, Freddy. Uh, process teacher. Okay, good. Uh, get, get ready. Thank you. What about Albert? Hello, Albert. Present teacher. Good evening. Uh, get lost. Okay, get lost. What about Ernest? Hello, Hi, Ernest. teacher. There. Rich. Get rich. Thank you. Okay, Maho, are you there? Yes. Good evening. Get good. tired. Get tired, yes. And this this is very common get when we get tired of jobs, our bus, traffic, problems, deaths, we get tired sometimes. Okay. You can say I'm fed up is when you are harto, when you don't want to know anything about uh, any specific. Topic. For example, you have problems with your neighbor and you have to talk with, to him and you say, please don't throw garbage, be careful with your dog, but your neighbor doesn't uh, pay attention. So you are fed up. So I'm fed up of th different things. Okay. So uh, Maritza, are you there? No yet. Okay. Um, Miguel, okay, Miguel. Um, get better. Get better, thank you, Morelia. Hello, get tired. Tired. Thank you. Get tired, uh, Nancy. Present teacher. Thank you. Get old. Get old. Okay. Um, Robert. Present teacher. Thank Get you. Get ready. Get ready. Okay. And Roxana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Get okay. lost. Get lost. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, let's move. And here we have, wow. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Etiquette can be related with behavior. Behavior is when you greet people, say hello, uh, you present yourself, or can be related to dress code, código vestimenta, it can be related to that. You have to look in a, for, for a industrial security, any special color uh, because it's Friday, or any special type of shoes or shirt related to to uh, one specific day for example on Mondays I remember that I used to wear tie on Mondays in an institute when I used to work so it is uh, an etiquette at your workplace there are different things okay or maybe in the mail if you have to say some specific things okay so depends on you uh, two rules of etiquette at your workplace, please send um, those rules in the chat and I'm going to be checking.
Okay, let's see what do we have. Um, and we're going to start. We're going to start with Predis and then Raquel. Um, in my case, no short and work because it's more dangerous and um, okay. less every day in the cleaning jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely, but that's mainly for security, right? It's security yeah. of the employees. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Raquel okay. and then Roxana. Please, Raquel, you go. Um, uh, we, are, we are the uniform. Okay, thank you. Mm, don't be We're late. the uniform, don't be late. Thank you. Very nice. Roxana and Brandon. Okay. Avoid eating in the work area and also be on time. Be on time. Similar to Raquel because she yes. said, don't be late. In your case, be on time. Definitely. It is yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Brandon and then Albert. Always wear the uniform and always have the uniform clean. Yeah, that's a very important, especially for presentation of the company, right? Thank you, um, Albert, and then Miguel. Okay, teacher. In my work, labor are now necessary, but it consider, oh. consider that no matter the place respect, genders um, and twist must be a priority on our times. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Because uh, your company or, or your yeah your enterprise, it is not about uh, labels. It is about work, right? They need products. They need well done to work. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Miguel and Ernest. Okay, I try and explain. Please. I think it depends on my personal case. I always look very presentable. I keep my workplace clean. I don't like wearing short and I wear short hair. I try to express myself well and respect people. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice, Miguel. Yes, you mentioned different things that are correct. Okay, respect people, uh, not wearing earrings nor shorts, right? Because it, you have to be like formal, okay? And respect people, thank you. Nice. And even Thanks. as you mentioned, have a uh, short hair, right? In my case, it's the same. Uh, I, I need to have short hair. It's like that. Thank you, Miguel. Nice. Robert Thanks. and Maho. Hey, teacher. Hello. Uh, in my workplace, dress more must be formal. Uh, we cannot arrive in tennis shoes specifically during the period of class. Yeah. Uh, when there are a gala parties, we must to wear very formal clothes. Yeah, and it, it is I about... Like to... Please, please. I would like to say two rules. For example, don't be late and be polite, of course. Thank you. Yes, it is like that, especially in your work, in your job, is like you have to be formal and and your presentation is very important, but very, very important. So that's it. That's the reason. Thank you, Robert. Majo and you, Ernest. Okay. My workplace is very informal, but they have this. Uh, I always pick up trash from the table where you eat and always greet and be kind to others. Okay. Uh, that's related especially with the treatment, right? To the behavior. Yes. But in the case of uh, dress code, it is very relaxed, right? Because you mentioned, I don't know if you were talking about going like pajamas at work. Yes, we yes, have right. days. Uh -huh, we have days, for example, Friday can be pajamas, rock day or reggae day, hippie day. And so you can wear this kind of clothes. Kind of clothes or looks mm -hmm. or styles. Yes. Imagine very, very different uh, or on with yes. Robert. 
or very different with Freddy's. Ima imagine Freddy's with a Hawaiian look. <laughs> it is like uh, none, right? Or Robert exactly. going, imagine Robert going to, to, to teach with pajamas or shorts. Mm, it is not right. Well, maybe, maybe in our dreams. Okay. Thanks, um, Ernest and Nancy. In my case, be polite with your co-workers and bosses and don't eat it on the desktops. That, that's very important. And not only because uh, it, it you look like uh, strange, but because of the computers, because of the, the equipment, right? That, that you have, it is like that. So thank you, Ernest. And yeah. definitely be polite. Mm -hmm. Nancy, your turn. Okay. Rule one, greet the customers and take their data. Rule two, put label to the words, works. Okay. That's it, there. put label to the work. That, that's, that's part of the order. And to have better processes. Thank you. Morelia, what about you? Just use the uniform and be polite. Thank you. But in this case, it could be wear the uniform because it, it is part of the clothing, right? So do you have just one uniform or, or, or do you have different types of uniform in your case? It is just one uniform, but the administrative group or team has different uh, shirts or t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so but that's nice. That that, that that's nice. Different, uh, like colors and designs. Okay, my friends. Thank you. We move, and here we have. Are the procedural posters displayed in some areas in your workplace? I guess Predis uh, has this right. Procedures posters displayed on, on some areas in your workplace, or maybe Albert. I don't know. I don't know if Miguel or Majo, do you have posters displayed in some areas? Yes. No. Not necessarily. Okay, in your case, no, Albert. Fredis? No, Fredis, eh, like posters, como afiches, señalizaciones. It is like that. Yes, in the classroom, pizarra. Ah, uh, okay. In the uh -huh. whiteboard or in the board. In, in the okay. whiteboard is indicator of the statistic and okay. Like general information, information right? The general yes. information yeah. that can be used. Thank you. Okay. Here we have, look at the checklist below designed to verify the steps of a hand washing procedure. Do you think the checklist is effective to allow the process, proced, procedure? Why? Okay. Uh, steps on a hand washing procedure, hand washing. Okay, with water and soap and so on. Policy, all chefs and servers will follow proper hand washing procedures okay let's read one by one Maho, read number one please and then we go with robert with number two okay washes hand using soap from soap dispenser from soap dispensers right thank you uh robert and then we go with miguel uses brush to remove dirt from under fingernails under finger this is a uh, fingernail so under under La tierrita, okay? Yeah, it is like the, the dirt, the dirt yeah. that you have under your your, your fingernails. Thank you. Uh, Miguel, and then we go with uh, Ernest. Uses okay. soap. Uses soap between finger and on hands. Uh, Throwly. Okay, it is like this, right? Like like okay. this, yes, thoroughly. 
and between the fingers. Thank you. Ernest, uh, wash his hands, please. And then we go with Roxana, the last one, okay? Wash his hands in sinks from production area. Okay, thank you. The sink is the lavabo, okay? Is when the, the water falls, okay? So that's it. And Roxana, dry. Dries hands with a mechanical hot dryer. Hot dryer, okay. So uh, we are talking about policy. Políticas con respecto a eso, no policía. That's police officers or policemen or cops. All chef and servers, they have to do this, okay? Uh, wash and all some things. Okay, now, I need you to tell me, here we have one, two, three, four, five, right? Here we have an activity. In pairs, use the evaluation checklist about as a model to create one of your own to evaluate process to you follow at your workplace. I guess we can do this individually because it's better. It's be, it depends. It depends on different functions, different uh, jobs, right? So what we're going to do is a checklist, okay? Checklist, um, you can mention four steps of doing something. Remember that we do something similar, but this is very specific. It is so specific that they talk about washing hands. Imagine, son como pasos para lavarse las manos. Imagine, it is like very funny, right? But it is a concrete procedure, a very concrete procedure. For example, if you have to teach a class like Roberto, if you have to work with industrial material, if you have to, or you, you are going to buy material or to answer uh, a call, attending customers, I need four or five steps about something very specific that you do in your job, okay? Please. So um, I need you to, to present four or five steps. It is like a checklist. Something that you do, okay, done, 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 and so, okay? Four or five, and you present uh, your your checklist in the chat, please. I'm going to give you like three or four minutes. You can have this like example. Uh, this is in third person. Eso está en tercera persona. Ustedes pueden ponerle solo con el verbo, por ejemplo, watch hands. Use brush, uh, dry hands, mm -hmm. no problem. I'm going to be waiting for your answers.
Okay, we have Maho as the first one. Okay, Maho. Uh, we have five steps in your procedure. Something, yes. I don't know if you do it every day or yes. in some special location. No, every day. It is like a every routine day. you have. Mm -hmm. Could you read it, please? Okay. The first one, greet and be kind with the customers. The second one, ask what is the reason for the contact. Uh, step three, help to, do, to solve the problem, providing options. Four, uh, send confirmation of what the client needs. And five, confirm that everything is in order and say goodbye. Okay, thank you. So, great. Uh... Ask the reason, solve the problem, send confirmation, and confirm that everything. So you have to confirm mm -hmm. twice, just in case yes. something goes wrong, because there are some clients that they they complain, okay, right? They complain if they are not okay. sure if they have like their problem solved. Thank you, Maho. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. You have like a very clear, definitely. Uh, Ernest, are you ready? to say yours? I think. Please, go ahead. Proceed, proceed for register the assistance. Yeah. Number one, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue. Number one, type your employee code. Number two, <clears throat> put your finger into the, the lector. Number three, check that your assistant is registered. Number four, press the exit button. Okay, button. nice. Okay, so, well, in my case, I have never used uh, like a register machine because uh, of the, the type of, of jobs that I have had. But in your case, it is like part of every day, right? Yeah. So you have a code, right? Code and then? the finger fingerprint mm -hmm. finger yeah see un lector de huella okay finger. and what about uh, what time do you uh, start working at 8 at 7 at 8, or at eight. you have to be registering your assistance until what time or what is the limit so you, you're not going Can to you repeat, repeat. Okay, okay. For example, you are you start at eight, but what time it is recommended? Yes. What time is recommended for you to check your assistant? Maybe uh, eight, 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 or, ah, eight is or, okay, no problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, thank you. I, yes, be uh, late. So I mark eight, eight and ten, or or more. <laughs> okay. Do you have some problems with discounts with your salary or with your payment, or not? Oh, depends. Yes. Depends yes, minute. teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, we have we have discounts. Okay. Thank you. Yes, it happens. It happens that uh, something that can affect you. And for example, traffic, accidents, there are different, uh, yes, things or situations that can affect your punctuality. Thank you, Ernest. Yes. Thank you for the good examples, Maho and Ernest. No You're waiting problem. for the rest. Okay, we're going to wait a little bit.
Okay, we're going to move. Uh, I know that some of you are taking some time to prepare this, but um, we have to advance uh, with the agenda that we have. And let me check. Okay. We're going to study superlatives. Uh, para los que los demás que les hace falta, envíenlos. Send your, your checklist y ya lo vamos a leer. ¿Verdad, Rock? Sana ya la envió, la, la vamos a leer en otro momento, but please, I'm, I'm going to be waiting for your answers. Si sí voy a estar esperando su respuesta. All your answers are important to me, you know. Okay, we're going to check superlatives in this case. Um, you remember that the last week we were discussing about adjectives, right? We were saying that the normal adjective or base form, it is this as we know when we describe people, when we say that somebody is famous, funny, happy, attractive, beautiful, and so on. And we have the comparative form as well, okay? The comparative is related to what this person it, it's related to how different is one person to another a place to another or a situation for example you can say that a person is more more beautiful than the other that pupusas are cheaper for example, in a restaurant, pupusas in a restaurant, they are more expensive. Si donde está expensive, creo que no está. But if you go to some other place, the pupusas are cheaper, son más barat, okay, and so on. And here we have superlative form. In this case, uh, we don't compare. We just um, make emphasis of something over one group of things, something that is superior for one characteristic. For example, the angriest, the angriest teacher that I had was in high school. I had angry teachers, but there was a, 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 there was a teacher, a woman, that she was angry all the time. Okay, so imagine, I remember her. Uh, you can say the cheapest, the cheapest place to eat. I don't know. It can be a pupuseria or uh, it can be pan mataniño. I don't know. That's the cheapest. Eso es lo más barato. The cheapest. Okay. Um, the most famous, the most famous artist or the most famous band. Okay. Rock band, the Beatles. The Beatles are the most famous. Why? Because everybody knows the Beatles. Or everybody knows Michael Jackson. So Michael Jackson is the most famous singer. We have famous singer Elvis Presley. We have Freddie Mercury. We have a lot of singers. But Michael Jackson is the most famous. So he is superior with that characteristic. Famous. And we have... Ah, you remember we have a speaking activity related to the hap happy moment. But what is the happiest? So you remember you have a memory about the happiest moment in your life. And for example, the saddest moment. For example, when a person that you love dies, they, uh, he or she passes away, or when you have a pet and that pet uh, dies so that can be one of the saddest moments right so it is like this and remember we have two types of adjectives short and long tenemos dos tipos de adjetivos cortos y largos that's why here we have some adjectives tenemos unos adjetivos que solo tiene est en el lado comparativo tenemos er ¿Verdad? 
tenemos ER, pero en el lado superlativo tenemos EST. So, um, in the case of long adjectives, we have the must. Uh, in my opinion, I consider that long adjectives are easy. Considero que los adjetivos largos son más fáciles, porque solo les agregamos the must. Para comparar, para comparar ponemos more, pero el adjetivo en sí no le agregamos ningún prefijo ni sufijo. No hay ninguna letra. En los adjetivos cortos sí se los agregamos. Son sufijos. Okay. So in this case, um, we can check um, the most wonderful, the youngest. Okay. I don't know who is the youngest participant. ¿Quién será el más joven de acá? I consider that the youngest here. No, le estoy diciendo mayores. Pero estoy diciendo el más joven. The youngest maybe is Maritza. Maybe. Maritza. I guess. Ajá. Bueno, the youngest, it's me. And after we have Maritza. Ok. So, we have, for example, no, no, vamos a decir quién es el mayor, definitely. Ok. And we can say the most modern cell phone or computer, it is like that. So, I need you to tell me, but before this, I have some other... some other image. Okay. And if you notice, here we have one syllable, okay, or more than two syllables. For example, the dog is faster than the elephant. El perro es más rápido que el elefante, yes. The horse is the fastest. El caballo es el más rápido. We are not comparing in the second one. We are saying that he is superior. Or, yeah. The horse is bigger than the dog. Yes, it's bigger. But the elephant is the heaviest. El elefante es el más pesado. Yes. The dog is more, more energetic than the elephant. Okay. Yes. El perro es más energético. So that's it. Look at this. Um, we have the adjective. Su forma base. We have comparative. Que se le agrega el more acá. O acá se le agrega ER. O si ya termina con E, solo se le agrega la R. ¿Sí vemos esto? Uh -huh. eh, y aquí igual pues la R. Si termina en Y, if it ends in Y, la cambiamos por I. Normal. Y latina. Y ER. But here we have the superlative. That that's something that we are very interested in. ¿Ok? Superlative EST. Es. Por eso que aquí miren, tenemos the best. El mejor. Si decimos better, es mejor que. But the best is superior. Ok. Here we have, si termina en E, solo ST. Si no, EST. Y los adjetivos largos, le agregamos the most. Famous. Beautiful. Ok. So that's it. Do we have questions about um, adjectives, relative adjectives? Doubts? Okay. Um, let's move with the other. Vamos con Roxana and Freddy with the checklist. Ya que eh, pues me están enviando las opiniones. Okay, Roxana, could you read yours? Okay, for example, in the store, uh, you have to use helmet before entering to the store. Yeah. Um, they use belt 
it helps them when they carry something heavy. And also wash his eyes when they have an accident with some liquid. Okay. And also they have they have to use shoes with a cool. I don't know how to say that. Ah, okay. Yes, it is like plat there is like platinum, right? Yes. It's something very hard. And but that's yes. for security. Okay. For security uh, if uh, for an accident. And for accidents, yes, for uh, for avoiding accidents. Thank you. Uh, yes. very nice. We go. Thank you, Roxana. Nice. Uh, okay. Freddy's and Albert. Okay, Freddy's. Okay. This in my case, checklist evaluation and seven S program is check. Number one is organized. Check number two is tidy. Check number three clean. Check number four standard. Check number five main time. Well, in my case, is a uh, manager the program evaluate the seven S um five S. Okay, nice. That's Thank it. you. Okay, five steps. Very uh concrete. Because of the words. Thank you, Freddy's. We go with Albert and Nancy. <laughs> okay. And your personal visit to the company. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands while soap to disinfect. Just one warm water to eliminate rheumatic problems. Okay. Right. Hands while Defensive white alcohol and number five detection. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, uh, something that takes my attention is number two, use warm water to eliminate rheumatic problems. And that's why you work with your, your body. I mean, you, are, you have to use the force, right? You are working. And if you use maybe cold water, you can have problems, right? Because your muscles, yeah. your muscles, the muscles are uh, active. And if they are like hot and then uh, cold water, you can have problems. Thank you. Nancy, could you Thank mention you. yours? Okay. Checklist uh, for procedure to serve their a client. Mm -hmm. One, read, two, ask what you need, three, take your data, mm -hmm. four, give you a service, five, deliver the work done. Mm -hmm. Deliver the work done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Perfect, Nancy. Yes, proceed to serve, no server, serve a client or to attend a client. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, um, now that we have clear superlatives, and here we have some exercises, okay? Very, but very simple. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this, and you tell me what word, what adjective you select, and then we're going to change into superlative because these ones are base form, short, nice, happy, dry, big, thin, expensive, uh, interesting, good, bad. You tell me. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Okay, who starts? That's very easy. Me? 
Okay, Number Roxana. three. Number three, the happiest. Yep. Thank you. The happiest. Okay. Uh, who else? Who's next? Nice. Mm -hmm. The nicer. Okay. Nicest. Seria. Nicest. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Robert. Maybe we can. Please, Miguel. Big. Big. Bigger. Mm -hmm. Big. Okay. Biggest. Yes. Como, como, ¿se recuerdan de Biggest? It is yes. like this. En teoría, la hamburguesa más grande, but come on, not right, not really. La más pequeña. Sí, la más pequeñita. Ok, the biggest, but yeah, it is like that. Bigger es comparativo, más grande que. Ok, thank you. Uh, who else? Freddy? Freddy, maybe. The most expensive. Uh, expensive. Yeah. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Yes, the most expensive. Mm -hmm. Good. Who else? Me, Me teacher. teacher. Okay, uh, we go with Majo and Vicky. Okay, interesting. Uh, the most interesting. Good. I'm sorry, that is already there. Interesting. I know it is difficult, this word. Me, teacher. Okay, uh, we go with Vicky and then you, Albert, please. Thank you. Vicky. The number four, dry, mm, I think is dry. Mm -hmm. It's... Mm -hmm. Driest. Thank you. Uh, Albert and then Brandon. Mm, Albert, you have yours? See? The sender number is correct. Thin. Uh -huh. Yeah. The no. thinnest. Yeah. No, thin, thin. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, no. In vez de la N, uh, thinner. Uh, okay. Thinner, no sé cómo. Vaya. En vez de las dos N, en vez de la segunda N que ha colocado, diría la T. Y... Uh, Así, pero en vez de la segunda ya no iría una T. Mm, no creo, tendría que ir así, thinner. Porque thinner es lo que nosotros conocemos como el thinner, que es el adelgazador, que lo utilizamos para, para pintar with, with oil painting, con pintura de aceite. Uh -huh. yeah. Se dice thinner. Yeah. Yo me, me refiero porque, por ejemplo, ahí dice delgado, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Sí. 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 De, sí, no, o sea, delgado, más delgado. Sí, de thinner. Uh -huh. Así sería. Porque ah, thinner en este ah, caso okay. sería comparativo. Thank you. Thinner than. Okay. Thank uh, you. Is thinner. Ok, no problem. De hecho, cuando uno va a la ferretería, tiene thinner. Ok, yes. It is thinner, but, well, that's the way we, we pronounce. Thank you, Albert. Uh, who else was saying? Brandon. Pat uh, is worse. Ah, yes. Words no es bades. Estos son adjetivos irregulares, right? The words. Okay, thank you. Um, what if we have in this case Morelia or let me see who else, Nancy. Me. Okay, Morelia. Uh, shortest. Mm -hmm. The shortest. Yes, the shortest. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Well, uh, good. It is like an irregular. Yes, Brandon. You want to say something? Better. Better. Okay. Best. Best. Okay. Best. Mejor. Okay. Better and okay. comparative. Okay. And even there are some albums in the 90s or 80s, it was the best of the best. I don't know if you remember, that was very common. So, lo mejor de lo mejor. So, it, it is like the top. Okay. Um, now. 
we're going to have a conversation like this. Remember yesterday we were, uh, there was um, a reservation for Genos, okay? This is uh, the second part. And in this case, it is always related also with the reservation. But in this case, uh, Jamie is trying to change something, okay? Uh, here we have, hello, Genos. Hi, I called earlier to book a table for four. And I was wondering if I can make it for six instead. Instead significa en lugar de. Si no conocen este verbo, recomiendo que lo escriba. Instead. Un verbo muy útil. Okay. So, again. Hi, I called earlier to book a table for four. And I was wondering if I can make it for six instead. Um, what, time, what name was it? It's Jamie. Table for four at half past seven. So you want to change it to six o'clock? No, sorry. Can I make it for six people? Oh, I see. Sorry. That shouldn't be a problem. I can move you to a bigger. ¿Qué dice una mesa? Bigger. Una mesa más grande. Bigger table. Uh, but it will be nearer the kitchen. Is that okay? No problem. Is it possible to change the time as well? Make it a little bit later? Uh, yeah, we can. It's eight. Okay, for you? Perfect. Thanks. Lovely. Uh, see you tomorrow then. Thanks, bye. Thanks, ciao. So in this case, um, it is like trying to change the number of people, but the staff uh, understood that they, it was talking about the time but it's not, okay? So, I need you to have a screenshot of this, please, my friends, and we're going to practice a little bit, and then we continue. We have just 15 minutes, solo 50 minutes, and we say goodbye. Then we're going to be on, on the weekend. Okay. Let's check here. Okay, my friends. See you in a couple of minutes. Please accept the request.
Es el teacher, ¿no? Hello. Teacher. Yes. We, don't, we didn't take screenshot. Really? Okay. Yes, may yes. you send it? Um, the WhatsApp group. Okay, uh, really. Okay, I'm I'm going to send it, okay? Thank you. Okay. okay. El auto chévere es la U. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, you don't have the screenshot, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send. I it. can practice with my with my partner. Was your partner? Freddy. Do you remember who was your partner? Eh, me salí del, del grupo para. Eh, eh, Freddy, me salí del grupo para para hablar con usted. Y ahorita me regreso. Ok, ok.
Okay, uh, welcome back, my friends. I'm sorry we had some difficulties at the beginning because um, there was no screenshot. So it was kind of complicated. But here we have in the chat um, Robert. Hi, Robert. Uh, about your procedure, could you read yours? Okay, teacher. Please. This is in case of fire. Okay. First, does the facility have an adequate adequate number of extinguisher char charged within the limits? Okay. Are the fire extinguisher location uh, fires and houses identified clearly? And without obstructions, in in the event of fire, is the facility's water pump and its pressure adequate to achieve and maintain water flow the highest floors? Is there a local fire department that could arrive at the facilities on time appropriate in case of fire? Are there key personnel assigned and trained to maintain fire fighting equipment within the normal parameters? Thank you. Very nice. Uh, very detailed. Thank you, Robert. Very detailed. Uh, the checklist, and especially uh, it is necessary always um, personal, trained personnel in these cases, similar to an earthquake. And there are some emergencies, uh, something that happens suddenly. You are not waiting for that. It happens. It just happens. And so you have to be prepared. Thank you, Robert. Okay, we're going to move because uh, we have some other activities. Uh, one team to pronounce this. Uh, and then we go with what's the name of the song. Después vamos con eso para que se prepare Nancy. Nancy, ¿verdad? Hi. Sí, por favor, creo. Nancy. Hi, Peter. Yes. Oh, yes, right. Bien, para que te prepares. Be prepared. Okay. Mientras tanto, uh, let's go with the... Okay. Okay. Let's go with the conversation first. Uh, maybe volunteers. We can have, for example... What about if we have let's see maybe if you want to teach me. Okay, Miguel. Um I don't know Vicky or Majo, I don't know who. Oh Anna yeah. Victoria. Okay, yes. Vicky, Vicky and hey, Miguel. Please, my friends, go ahead. Okay. okay. Hello, Genos. Hi, I call you. I call earlier to book a table for four and I was wondering if I can make it for six instead. Ah, what name was it? It's Jamie. Table for four at half past seven. So you wanted to change it to six o'clock? No, sorry, I can make it for six people. Oh, I see. Sorry, that shouldn't be a problem. I can move you to a bigger table, but it will be near the kitchen. Is that okay? No problem. It is possible to change the time as well made it a little bit later? Ah, yeah, we can. Is it okay for you? Perfect, thanks. Lovely, see you tomorrow then. Thanks, bye. Thanks, ciao. Very nice, thank you. Yes, if you notice um, similar context, uh, because it's uh, about uh, re making a reservation 
but um, different types of requests. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nancy, what about if we move to the, what's the name of the song? Please, um, you can share uh, your presentation and we're going to okay. read. Well, you're going to read and we're going to be checking. Ahorita, permítame que tuve okay. problemas para poder, este, estuve intentando en la, en la sala de grupos pequeños y no me aparecía. Pero ahorita lo voy a, voy a intentar en imágenes. En la parte de abajo eh, aparece compartir pantalla. Es okay. un botón verde. Okay. Fotos. ¿Puedo observarla? Yes, solo yes. que de lado, creo. A ver si lo puede girar. A ver. Un poquito así. Para uh -huh. Marta. Si no, uh -huh. eh, deja de, 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 de compartir y vuelve, ajá, arregle la imagen. Ok, ok. No problem. This happens, and remember that, well, we, I don't know if you have shared screen before. If not, this is the first time. And it's part of uh -huh. learning. Parte de, de aprender, no problem, relax. Creo que este, voy a tomarle una captura y voy a poder, este, como hizo ayer nuestra compañera. Ok. Permita. Send a teacher. Mm -hmm. Or you can send it to me. Ok, no problem. Eh, si gustas, <laughs> voy a avanzar con algo, Nancy, mientras te tomas sí, el sí. tiempo. No problem. Relax. Okay. Relax. Um, we're going to move. In this case, uh, we have two more activities related to this. Um, okay. In this case, uh, we are advancing. And here we have to start. It says, what is your daily schedule like at work? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Esta palabra schedule es, se pronuncia schedule. Schedule. I recommend you to write it. Schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Schedule. Okay. I know. Uh, we can use agenda instead of schedule, but agenda, it is for... It could be for uh, an event. There is the agenda, greetings, uh, present information, conclusion. That's an agenda. But schedule can be related to from Monday to to Friday or from Monday to Saturday. So different days, different activities, different time. So that's schedule. For example, when you used to go to the university or high school or elementary school, you had your schedule. Uh, languages, social studies, mathematics, that's a schedule, right? Schedule. No es es, schedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Practice it. Uh, I know. It is not uh, so easy. Okay. 
Okay, Maho can help as well. Maho says, okay, thank you, Maho, for offering you to help. Okay. Um, mientras se prepara Nancy, os vemos de qué manera pues se avanza. Here we have this uh, short conversation. Uh, I guess we can do like an order of activities that we do. Let's see. We have Ruben and Jenny. Ruben says, okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as a hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go lunch and you have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Okay? Uh, will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Reminder is recordatory. Okay. Maybe to mention this. Remind, remember is recordar. I remember when I was young. I remember my first girlfriend. I remember when I divorced. Okay, blah, blah, blah. But remind is cuando alguien te recuerda. When somebody makes you uh, remember. Okay, when you uh, remember, you think about uh, those moments in the past by yourself. But remind is when a person helps you and tells you, okay, don't forget this, Freddy. Don't forget that, Albert. And you can say, thank you for the reminder or thank you for reminding. Gracias por acordarme. Okay, eso es. Remember, recordar. Remind, acordarse. Okay, so it's similar, but um, we have some reminders. Tenemos algunos recordatorios in the cell phone. Okay, in the calendar. We can set that for a specific time or day. Okay. So here we have, this is a very short conversation. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do. Ruben, thanks for the reminder. Uh, Nancy, ¿cómo vamos? Este, me está ayudando. I will have just only I don't love the PPT. Okay, no And problem. Share. Okay. okay, we're going to advance mm -hmm. with this. Avanzamos con eso. Okay, building vocabulary. Match significa unir. Match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. Okay, here we have uh, executive chef, executive chef, server, host, or hostess, kitchen manager, cashier. Okay, I'm going to give you like a couple of seconds. Look at this and then you tell me. Which one? Mm -hmm. Which one belongs to? ¿Cuál pertenece a cuál? Number one. Okay. I think it's cashier. Okay, let's see. Cashier. Okay, that's number one. I'm going to mark it so we can take it anymore. Picture. Hmm? Ah. I think the number two is. Ah, vaya, voy a terminar mi clase. Ya casi, ¿verdad? Yo lo sé. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Number two, uh, you mentioned which one? Uh, Robert. Kitchen manager. Okay. It's number two. Yeah, look at this. 
Here we have cashier, the person handling payments in a restaurant. Good. Kitchen manager, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food standards. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, maybe a uh, kitchen manager is number number three. Okay. A person who hires staff, purchases yes. uh, food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Okay. Yeah. It's number three. Okay. Check something. Nancy, how are you doing? I'm ready to share the presentation teacher. Okay. Uh, in a moment. Okay. Pero terminamos eso. Okay. Yeah, practically, okay. Uh, we can have like, um, in this case, I know it is like, uh, it looks like it is kitchen manager. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Number two Number is two. executive chef. Yeah, executive chef. Uh, but they look like uh, similar, right? I know maybe we can have some confusions in there. So, well. Definitely. Um, so, hey, uh, as I go to share, uh, executive chef, right? Yeah. Okay, the other is kitchen manager, right? Kitchen manager. Yes. Okay, uh, what about the other one? It's a uh, server. Server. A waiter or waitresses. Mm -hmm. Server. Uh, house. And the other, uh -huh. a person who greets okay. arriving guests, welcomes them yeah. to the restaurant. Yes, it is host or hostess. Okay. Host. host. Yeah, it's the person who says, welcome. How many people are, do you want a, a table for? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and so, so. The sheer executive chef, executive chef, kitchen manager, server, host, okay? So in this case, here we have the person handling payments in a restaurant, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen stuff and food standards, a person who hires, the que contrata, staff, purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained. A waiter or waitress who attend customers with food and drink. Mm -hmm. A person who greets arriving guests, welcome them into the restaurant and seat them. Okay, good. Okay, Maho or Nancy? Okay. Showtime. Okay. Thank you. Can you see it? Mm, a moment. It is loading. Yeah, we can. Oh, we can. Okay. Okay. Bye. Mm. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me closer still, or oh, oh, I Smith, you won't ever be alone. Wait for me to come home. Loving can help, loving can mend your soul. And is the only thing that I know, no. I swear it will get easier, easier. Remember, easier, easier. Remember that with every piece of you, and it's the only thing we take with us when we die. Okay, when we die. Mm -hmm. And have you identified words, right? Grammatically words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, subject pronouns, mm -hmm. are you with it, object pronouns, me, 
you eat us processive adjectives adjectives is the um my your or it's um possessive um adjectives pronoun yours adjectives uh -huh. adjectives inside one easier easier, easier. yes other so ever and verbs can keep keeper come get take now wait 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 mend and remember thank you very nice solo un detalle en la parte de abajo donde dice inside one easier is adjective mm -hmm. solo falta la c but yes that's really nice can we see the first slide please uh, let's go let's go back um does anybody know the name of the song or which one is because i don't have an idea i don't have an idea so or the artist the band the name of the song okay maybe not nancy could you tell us the name of the song uh, the name is uh, photograph the uh, este etcher ah okay sure okay nice yes nice singer thank you okay, okay. thank you uh nancy thank you. and maho thank for you. your help uh -huh. okay perfect um for the next song we're going to have ernest can you do it for monday yes teacher please my friend okay on monday uh, we will have ernest song okay um nice we have just a uh, 12 minutes so we're going to finish with uh, the last speaking activity and i'm going to count this as attendance list uh, voy a tomar esto como lista de asistencia okay Mention two or three things you are bad at. Mention dos o tres cosas en las que ustedes son malos. Okay? Just two or three. I'm going to be waiting in the chat. And after that, we're going to say goodbye. Okay? That's the last activity that we're going to have. And this is going to count, to be counted as assistance. The last assistance. Okay, I'm going to be waiting for your answers. Okay, we're going to start with Brandon and then we go with Freddy's. Okay, Brandon. Could you read yours, please? Okay. Uh, number number one, smoking cigars and sleep late. Yeah, me too. Both. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. Thank you. Uh, Freddy's and Maho. Okay, Freddy's. 
Um, I am bad at the following activity in salsa dancing, drawing, and play soccer. Really? No salsa. Okay. Cumbia, yes. You are good at cumbia? Yeah. In yeah. yeah. Intentamos. Oh. Yeah, we try. But salsa, it's complicated. It is not that easy dancing salsa. It's funny. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Okay, drawing and playing soccer. Thank you. Three things. Majo and Albert. Okay. In my case, I never know the names of the streets uh, <laughs> or places. Um, I cannot maintain constant communication online. I'm the worst person uh, com in conversations. <laughs> answering and all those. Yes. Okay. With order, I really am a messy person and I forget where I live things. Okay. Yeah, very But uh, there are some things that you can change. For example, yes. this, the number three, because it's important, maybe the keys or the cell phone sometimes. So it yes. is like that. It happens. Thank you, Ma. Very honest. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Albert and then Vicky. Okay. Things I'm bad as number one, comparing, comparing, communication, and social. Okay. Thank you. Very honest. Vicky and Morelia. Uh, for me, um, is. Okay. I am bad at dancing. I can't. I never learn. learn. Okay. I have a two left feet. Uh, feet. <laughs> two left feet. Yes. And I am bad at, at sing, sing, singing. 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 And listening to songs. Sometimes I confuse them. Um, for the beers, for me, is, is uh, mm, the difficult learning oh. the songs. Okay, really? Okay. Yes, the okay. land beers are more difficult. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, yes. uh, <laughs> you are better at dancing. Cumbia or something. Cumbia is like easy. No, difficult for you. I I I try, like the, try. Okay, to intend. No, I never try. I I don't Mama. I don't like dancing. Mama. December is I coming. Panes con pollo, cumbia. A good combination. I, I need okay. a teacher. Dancing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Freddy is going to teach you. Freddy is the teacher. Okay. okay. Cumbia. <laughs> Okay, thank you, my friends. We go now with Morelia and Ernest. I'm bad at uh, drawing, cooking, and knowing the street names. Yeah, uh, it, it's 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 kind of complicated, but there there is a an order, there is a logical, but there are a lot of streets, but a lot. Okay, drawing. No. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, los proceres and los eres is the same. No, okay. Straight. I was, I had, <laughs> I was, in the past, I used to com to be confused with that proceres and los eres. But then I remember that with the proceres, there are some sculptures, right? The faces of the, 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 the proceres, right? So I remember that because near the uca, there are. Well, you can see the faces, so that. Yes, I but, know that, but some people or someone tell me, oh, it's on Los Héroes, and my mind is in Los Proceres. Los Proceres, yeah. Mm -hmm. Searching the place, and it's something like, oh, it's in the other okay. place. Okay, I don't know why, but <laughs> is, this is very common. It's yeah. not, it is not just you. There are a lot of people. That yes. Okay. Thank you, Morelia. And we go with Ernest and Miguel. Hello. <clears throat> I'm bad uh, swimming. I can't. Okay. Wow. I can I cannot say no to my sons when when they 
ask me cars, for example, cars, ice creams, etc. It is like difficult to say also, no, right? Also, I cannot. Yes, yeah, because uh, their face are so cutie. Uh -huh. and and I, you say, come on, I can. yeah, yes, I can. yeah, yeah. Also, I cannot drink alcohol. Okay, but that's good. That's good, and that's bad. Nah, come on, yeah, good. It's healthy. <laughs> no, it, it's healthy, and so sad. And you save money because alcohol yeah. is expensive, even yeah, one, two beers. But if you count them during the month or during one year a lot of money come on only good for only you beer. Yeah. only beer only okay. beer yeah. only beer i love beer says Fred. Okay. Yeah. whiskey tequila <laughs> vodka okay. i don't know you don't like you, you so don't expensive like. yes even it is it is kind of expensive okay thank you ernest for your honesty uh we go with miguel and roxana please miguel Okay, in my opinion, what seen um about art um bad art lying and um, I can't hide from the work life others do because it bothers me to hide and not do what I have to do. Mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, it is it is better if we are sincere, if we are honest. We can prevent a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of discussions, uh, a lot of gossips, ah, different things. Thank you, Miguel. Roxana and Robert. Okay. In my case, I'm bad at swimming and also I'm bad at dancing. I'm, I'm I try going, to, okay. to, to take, I take classes of dancing, but I, I can. <laughs> okay, maybe we're going to have a class for dancing. Okay, and you're going to to present your your um your steps. Okay, vamos a ver los pasos prohibidos. Roxana, <laughs> come on. Okay, ya me estoy preocupando. Okay, thank you, Roxana. But okay. swimming, it's important, Ernest. Yes. It is so important swimming. You should learn. Yes, I. It can I save your to. life or yeah. your kids. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. For Maybe. for my kids, I, I I I I want to they they can learn. No, oh, they can learn. They have classes, right? Right, classes. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Thank you, Robert and Raquel. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. First, telling jokes because I have been told that I have a very serious voice. Mm -hmm. uh, second, <laughs> really? Okay. Precise because no. I can have a routine. Okay, nice. Well, for number one, uh, remember that there are some jokes that can be applied for your to your personality or to your voice. Because exactly. um, yeah, we have like different friends and they are very extrovert, they are funny, but we can be like them because our personality is different, but there are some jokes that you can say in different ways. So, well, exercising because I can have, okay. Yeah, the routines are important. If you can create your routine, you can go little by little. Yeah, it could be nice, Robert. Thank you. Yes, Raquel every and years, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every year I have a challenge and is. Uh, make exercise mm -hmm. but only the first week and yeah and, and then the you, you quit <laughs> yes. um, maybe if you can you can practice sport as well yeah you can start little by little or walking jogging yeah yes Thank and you. I have an exercise machine but mm -hmm. I don't use it maybe you don't have enough motivations maybe okay but it is important to be healthy, not just to look good, it's to be healthy, right? Thank you, um, Robert, Raquel, and Nancy, and we say goodbye, okay, Raquel? Hi, back at dancing, reggaeton, and speaking. Okay, you can improve, you can improve always. Thank you, Raquel, and Nancy. I'm glad I'm getting up early. 
Yeah, I see. Uh, and but that is the eating pizza. Eating pizza, okay, yeah. Could it be? It is a uh, new to read this. Okay, my friends, <laughs> thank you for all your answers. Um, it is time to say goodbye. Ya nos pasamos un poquito el tiempo, right? So um, just give me a second. I don't know why I can find this. Remember, please. Uh, sí, Alberto. Eh, no sé si me podría arreglar unos cinco minutos para ayudarme con la plataforma. Ahorita, la que ahorita. de hecho, Albert, creo que contigo, déjame ver. Sí. Bueno, uh, aprovechemos ahorita, Albert. Te quedas conectado y con los demás, I'm sorry, el tiempo se nos fue realmente. El lunes terminamos, ¿ok? Ya les robé un minuto. Have a good night. See you on Monday. Avancen en la plataforma lo que puedan. Si no, el lunes arreglamos todo. Bye, bye. Good night, night everyone. Bye. Good night. Enjoy. Good night. Disfruten el Happy fin de semana. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Enjoy it. Profesor, que la mire. Adiós, profesor. Dígale. Uy, perdón. Bye bye. <laughs> um, okay, um, Albert. And tell me. No, no, the, no, no, the, no, the, no. Decime el número de, de tarea. Es la 2.11 de la sección 2. Eh, por cierto, en el chat le envié, en teoría, mi respuesta de la pregunta 5. Que por más que trate de prescribirla, siempre no me la acepta. Ok, ahorita veo. 2.11 dices, ¿verdad? Correcto. Déjame ver acá. Sección 2, tarea 2.11. Question 5. ¿Cómo tienes? A ver, léemela porque no puedo ver WhatsApp ahorita porque no tengo cerca el dispositivo. No, no, en el chat de acá de Zoom se lo ha enviado. Ok, déjame ver. Dice. Revisar. Ahorita veo entonces. Wouldn't it be better. Perdón. Ajá. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Um, Correcto. Creo okay, que ya sé cuál es. Eh, esa respuesta, incluso usted lo estuvo haciendo el día martes, si no me o miércoles, no me recuerdo. Que incluso cuando usted lo escribió, puso it antes de Wouldn't. No, lo que pasa es que yo creo, vaya, te la voy a enviar aquí, yo creo que hay un doble espacio después del, del antes de, de, de la, a ver, sí, mira, copiarlo y pegarlo, mira, yo estoy viendo que hay, eh, porque esa es la respuesta, yo veo que hay un, después de decide, hay un espacio y después del signo de pregunta. Creo eh, que ¿Por el... WhatsApp la mando? No. no, no, aquí en Zoom. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Copiala tal cual, así como está. Un momento, por favor. Ok. Permítame que se... Ah, sí, ya la aceptó. Bien extraño. A veces la plataforma tiene eso, um, pero yo creo que era el, el doble espacio. Después de Decide, ahí está un espacio, me parece bien extraño eso, pero eso es. ¿Hay otra, Albert? Ya la última, el problema que tengo ya es en la sección 4, pero creo que eso lo dejaría para después, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, si gustas, después vamos a ver todos esos detalles por el hecho de que Uh, vamos a ahí revisar sí, ya, no hemos llegado aún, correcto uh -huh. vamos a ver porque como no hemos llegado todavía ¿verdad? a esa sí, correcto ok, así que bueno, okay. pues sería eso Albert, un gusto, see you on Monday te veo el lunes, ok muchas gracias, teacher, good night bye bye